Uh, in general, when you create controls, external controls for joints, you're creating them so that they have a zero default position. You can do the same thing uh, when you're creating sort of a floating joint chain. I mean, let's say you had uh, you wanted these legs to be able to attach, and this was, let's say, a robot. And you wanted to be able to have a leg just fall off. Now, you couldn't easily do that with the default structure because everything is connected together, and when you actually uh, when you actually bind it, it's kind of difficult to just take it and rip it off and easily put it back uh, just because you don't have zero defaults and you wouldn't necessarily have a zero uh, default control for it. But if you wanted to do something, uh, do something to create that sort of setup. So to begin, if you wanted to detach the legs but uh, maintain their alignment, you can simply select each hip joint go to edit and unparent or you can choose shift P on the keyboard and it will detach the joint chains from the root or the central hip or the pelvis or whichever you have it have it actually parented to. So now if we want it to actually still follow let's say our spine for example you'd actually have to create a proxy structure that we can use to maintain a connection uh, to pass on any transformations that are sent to that are sent out by the root the hips while also maintaining the separation between the pieces so one of the easiest ways to do that would be to create a group so with the hip joint selected I'm going to edit group or you can press control or command G if you're on a Mac, uh, and actually control should work as well, and it'll create a group. And then you can take the pivot point of that group and you can snap it up to the hip joint, because we want our group to sort of center there. And of course, name your group. So I'm going to call this my hip, and I'll call it underscore L for left, and GRP for group. And then I'll do the same thing on the right side. So now we have two our two groups. If you go to your window, uh, go to Outliner, bring it for Outliner. Then you can actually see the two groups: your root height, your root hierarchy for the joint structure. And now we want to make sure that these two elements are going to follow the uh, root hierarchy. So simplest way to do that just come in, select your in this case I'm going to select my hip. So I have a central hip here which gives me extra deformation in the hips in the pelvis area. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to control select or since I'm on a Mac I'm going to command select my groups one at a time. So hip first and then control select or command select depending on which operating system you're using and it'll highlight and then you can go to constrain and I'm going to do a parent constrain maintaining offset so that it maintains the position and now I have my joint is not constrained but the group that controls it is and then I'll do the same thing for the right side hip first and then the right hip the hip right group and then constraint parent constraint so now when I actually grab my root control you can see that it's highlighting the leg showing that there is some influence there and when I move it it still responds normally and when I come in and let's say I create an IK handle on my hip. Since the hierarchy is still intact, I can do so without any ill effects. If I still have something, let's say this cube, controlling my IK handle. So selecting the IK handle, I'm just going to parent it here really quick. And now if I come in and select my root, you can see that it's still anchoring and everything is responding normally even though I have this leg in a separate group and it's sort of a floating joint chain now. Now the great thing is that since this is a floating joint chain at the moment 
I could do so I could come in and set up a control so that I can go in and disable that constraint create a curve just a circle I'm going to snap align it with my hip joint scale it down then I'm going to freeze it name it and let's call this let's say hip left and we'll say uh, offset and then I'm going to actually move it into the group with my leg so that now when you highlight the leg it actually moves with it and now I can actually come in and do something like this I'm going to actually give it control over my joint chain just the top of it here so I'm going to select the curve shift select the joint chain and I'm going to throw another constraint on there okay so now there's a constraint on there but as you can see the IK still overrides that behavior okay as it should so now that I have my curve I'm going to select my curve for my hip which does control the hip as you can see okay and even though it still controls it controls the hip that control is also contained within the hierarchy of the main joint main joint structure so it stays aligned but also allows for offset so if I wanted to come in I can make the hips wider and still be able to manipulate this part of the character so everything still works and I have a zero default on that control that I can use to go back to zero so it can come in very handy uh, I can also use it to offset other behaviors within the structure once I disable the IK handle so it could actually act as sort of an FK control for my hip as well once IK is disabled that is so if I disable IK and then I rotate it you see it's actually the FK control for the hip as well so it serves two purposes so now if I wanted to be able to detach that leg I need to actually create a switch so on that same curve I'm going to select the curve I'm going to go to modify add attribute or I can press control and right click on my channels box and hold and drag down to add attribute and I'll bring my add attribute window up and I'm going to create a little pull down to switch it on and off so I can switch to enum and the first option is always equal to zero so I'm going to set that to detach and the second option I'm going to list that as attach and we're going to call this attribute our Mm. We'll call it our leg state. Leg state. And I'll add that in there. And so now we have detach and attach. Attach is usually equal to one, and the first option is equal to zero, the second always is always equal to one. And if you had a few more options in there, they'd be equal to, equal to two, three, four, or five, basically however many you had going after. So first is zero, second is one. And so now I need to connect it, not to any of the objects here, but to the constraint that's on the group. Okay? So in order to do that, I'm going to select my curve. I'm going to select my constraint. And then I'm going to bring up my connection editor which you can bring up under window general editors and connection editor okay so now let me just clean things up here a bit so right now I'm just setting this to just show the attributes that are on the top level so make sure that under left display it says it doesn't have any of these options checked it's just showing the readable and here you can see I have my hip offset control 
And then on the right side, I have my constraint loaded. And so I want to connect the lag state to the weight, the weight value of the constraint so that now it's connected to it. If I come in and I select my constraint, you can see that it's currently off as is equal to zero. And I can come in and I can take my root and I should be able to move the rest of the skeletal structure away from the left leg, which I can't because it's no longer attached. And of course, if I come back to my control and I tell it to attach, it reattaches it. Just that simple. And so this is one way you can actually create a sort of a floating leg control with an offset. So I can actually have my joint structure be a separate hierarchy, but still have it respond to my main joint structure. And I can even set it up so I can completely detach it. This way I can actually, if I have a robotic character or a character that needs his limbs to pop off, this is something I could easily do using this kind of setup. And this kind of thing would also work for uh, vehicles or machines or any parts to pop off or just to be able to animate them separately from the machine.